start recording again. Stream again. And now I should be good. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate getting one sound effect and one background music into my project. Um, you can obviously use as many sound effects and different background music as you want, but I'm just going to do one of each. As well. So we'll start in the browser. <laughs> I'm going to use freesound.org, um, which I mentioned is just a, it's kind of a hobbyist website where people record stuff and they upload it and they usually put some type of Creative Commons license on it, which means that we can download it and use um, so I was making this kind of project where I was doing kind of like a BMCC uh, thing. So uh, sound profile of BMC. I mean, I think about um, what kinds of things happen at BMCC and just search. I could like search for school and I would get like, okay, so yeah, I get like a school hall. There's a school bell. BMCC doesn't really have like a bell necessarily. Um, so let's see. I'm going to look for uh, a cafeteria. Get some sound out of the cafeteria. OK, this is actually crowded cafeteria. This is from a university. Uh, so that sounds like it could be good. So when I'm on free sound, I can preview the sounds just by clicking here. So that sounds pretty good. I could click a few other of these, but if I'm happy with this, I can click on the title to go to the main sound page. So I'm already logged in, which is why I see the download button here. Free sound is obviously free. The only thing you have to do to be able to download sounds is create an account. You can do pretty easily just with the email address and password. Um, so once you click on the sound, you're going to see some basic information about it. So the file type is FLAC. We actually didn't cover that, but FLAC is another. Uh, lossless audio format, so it's kind of similar to WAVE. There's the duration of the sound, the file size, so it's 16 megabytes, it's quite large, um, which makes sense because it's a FLAC file. Uh, the sample rate is 44.1, so that's good, that matches our project. Bit depth is 24, that's fine, it doesn't match our project, but Audacity will be able to kind of uh, fit it in. Um, and it's a stereo. Um, you can see comments, so if people you know use the sound, they might say stuff on here. And then we can also see the license right here. Creative Commons Zero is basically the most permissive license. So it just means that we don't have to give attribution. Um, we can do whatever we want. Um, and we can click on that link to see the license. Um, so we can see everything there. Sometimes you'll see Creative Commons like four or three, which means you have to give attribution to the creator, um, which is fine. We, we covered how to do that in our uh, project with Photoshop. Um, and we can do that here too. It doesn't say we have to give attribution to the creator, but that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to give attribution. To so I am going to save this sound. Um, I'm going to leave it in the browser for now since I'm just streaming the browser. Um, but I'm going to take some notes later and save the sound. So that way I can always come back to it if I want to. And I can give attribution. Um, so I'm going to click download here. Actually, let me put a link to the sound in the voice channel. So that'll be an easy way to find it. OK, so I'm downloading it. It's actually quite a big sound, so it's taking a second to download. And I'm doing other stuff um, on the computer as well. So let's go ahead while that's downloading and get some music to put in the background. There is music on freesound.org, um, but there's other websites that have music. Uh, the one I like to use, there's the one that's linked here. Um, is a good one, Ben Sound. Uh, but I like to use one called the Free Music Archive. And the reason I like this one is because it's uh, organized by genre. Um, so if we go to the Free Music Archive and we go to uh, Enjoy FMA, uh, usually what I do is I go to uh, Discover Genres. And so the nice thing here is you can look for a specific style of music. Um, and so if I want to have some background music in uh, my uh, audio recording, um, I can go for something, uh, maybe an instrumental, so it doesn't, it's not going to have vocals. 
And then it gives me some other options, ambient, easy listening, lo-fi, new age, soundtrack. And so, you know, you can choose one of those. I'm going to try new age. We'll see where, where that takes us. And then with the interface here, uh, similar to um, Freesound, I can preview the sounds. So let's preview this first one. So that's pretty good. It's just kind of some new agey piano music. So I can just click the download button right here. Um, but if I want to learn more about this, I can click on the track name. Um, and we can see uh, some information here. So we can see who the band is. There's some cover art. Um, and then we can see there's a Creative Commons license here as well. And this one is actually uh, non-commercial node derivatives. So that actually means that we can't really use this sound because no derivatives essentially means that you can't really do anything with sound. I don't even know why um, that is a license really, um, but we can take a look at that real quick. Basically what, so it says non-commercial, which means, so attribution means I have to give credit to the creator, which is fine. Non-commercial means I can't sell whatever I use this in, which is also fine um, for a student project or for a demo. I'm not gonna make money off of this. Um, no derivatives basically means I can't uh, I can't distribute a modified version of this song. Um, which you know, if I'm just doing a demo project, I'm really not breaking any rules here. I would be breaking rules if basically if I tried to sell this or if I put it on Spotify or something like that. Um, so just to save time, I'm just going to go ahead with this anyway. Uh, but this is a good thing to look at in terms of understanding different types of um, different types of uh, licenses. And it kind of makes sense that an artist who recorded a song that they probably wrote and spent a lot of time on would have a more restrictive license than somebody who just recorded their school's cafeteria. Um, so I'm definitely going to make sure to save this link so I can keep it in um, and remember to paste this in the uh, voice channel to make it easy to find. Uh, and then I'm just going to click on this download button here. And they're saying, do I understand the conditions? And I'm going to say yes. And that's an MP3 file, which makes sense for music. And so now I've downloaded both of my files. Um, so I'm going to switch my stream for a second over to my whole computer so we can see the process of putting this into Audacity. Uh, and then I'll have to switch again um, to, to use Audacity, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're looking at my whole computer. I'm going to minimize Discord for just a second, minimize all of these different things. Here's Audacity. I'm going to go back to um, my uh, recording project. Oh, it says it's already open. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to save this project. Okay, so now I have my project. So with Audacity, I want to be careful to put the files in the right place. Audacity is not going to work with Photoshop. Like Photoshop, it's not going to make a copy of these audios. <coughs> Excuse me. So before I put anything in here, I'm going to make sure to go to my downloads folder. I have the two sound files that I just downloaded. And I want to make sure to put those in my project folder so that Audacity always knows where they are. So I'll go to my audio portrait folder, and you can see my Audacity project and the previous recordings that I created. And I'm just going to drop these new files in there. And then I'm going to exit out of here. So now I can go back to Audacity. Uh, I can drag and drop, or I can import. So I'll show you guys both. Um, so I'm going to rewind to the beginning. I'm going to go to File import audio and it's already got my portrait of a place open but if not i would go to the desktop go to mmp 100 go to my audio project and then the first one i'm going to do is the background sounds so let's find this cafeteria and the nice thing about audacity is it's just going to put all these different types of files together for me find doing that and so now I have this background music sounds of the cafeteria. It looks quite loud. Um, so what I'm going to do is just turn 
the gain down to like minus maybe like minus 20 maybe even lower 24 or something like that and let's take a listen to that welcome to bmcc i'm oh wait you guys can't hear that so let me put the other file in and then we'll go back to this so there's my cafeteria sound and now i want to add my music sound so the other way i can do this is drag and drop so if i just have my folder on top of audacity although for some reason shaking the folder in windows makes things go away which is kind of interesting yeah. um, anyway here's the music i downloaded i'm just going to drag this over and drop it on there and there we see our music it's very loud music is usually recorded as loud as possible because um, when we play it back we want to be able to hear it um, so i'm going to go back here and i'm going to turn the music way way down maybe negative 30 something. Okay, so now I'm going to switch my stream again. Uh, actually, while I'm on my desktop, let's let's save those two files that I. Got. I'm going to open. Computer is getting really annoyed at me for opening all these programs. Okay, so I've got a new text file. I'm just going to quickly save these links. So here's my crowd at a cafeteria link. And here's my uh, music link. I don't need to write down all of the information here. As long as I know where these links are, I can find them. And so I'm just going to save this in my project folder and save this as sources.txt. Okay, now I'm all good with those sources. Now I'm going to switch my stream over. And we're almost done. Okay. So now I'm back on Audacity. And so I'm going to uh, solo the cafeteria first, and we'll just take a listen to that. Sounds pretty good. And so then let's solo the uh, song. OK, not bad. So then let's listen to it all together and see how the mix sounds. So I'm going to unsolo this. And I'm going to zoom in, in just a little bit. So we want to make sure that we can hear my voice well. We can hear the bottle cap opening that I recorded last time. and. You hear just a little bit of the cafeteria, not too much, and then a little bit of the music. Welcome to BMCC. I'm Professor Roberts, and I'm making an audio. So that's actually not such a bad mix. I might move this over a little bit, this over a little bit, so it doesn't start all at the same time. Welcome to BMCC. Oh, now I added this little bit here. Let's cut that. Welcome to BMCC. I'm Professor Roberts. And okay, so that's actually sounding pretty decent, uh, except for my performance, which is a little flat, but the audio recording sounds fine. Um, and there we go. So that's how we can add different sounds uh, from different sources into Audacity. Um, so we're going to do a little bit more next week, but we're almost done with Audacity. I'm going to go over how to do some different effects and mixing stuff with Audacity, and then we'll go over how to export next week. Um, and we'll have some you know, time for you to work on stuff. Um, so oh, let me stop. So I'm going to end this recording here.